Nice job. Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning back in. Just wanted to give a quick explanation to some things that have been going on while we're back in Colorado and just kind of catch up on life in general. Anyone who's been following the blog for a while kind of saw what happened as we went out to Kansas a lot. Silas finally came home with us and we were enjoying life in, uh, in Thornton, in Thornton, Colorado, living there just a little north of Denver. So things were good and we were, um, we were happy. I finally had Silas and uh, we accomplished that goal and we're enjoying family time. And then um, out of nowhere, just some things happened with my wife's work and a few other issues and we ended up having to relocate. We took a chance and we went out to California based on an offer from some family. We thought, hey, this is a good chance for us to restart. This is a good chance for us to kind of get ahead. And this is a good chance not many people get where we can um, kind of rewind for a little bit, go back to Cal go out to California. I'd never been there before. Go out to California and um, try to get ahead. And then we could, I don't know, figure out a plan from there. Needless to say, when we were in California, not much really worked out. Um, my wife got a new career and it's going very well for her. So if anything happened in California, Anjali found a new path and I'm very happy for her about that. Um, that's good stuff there. She's, she's very excited about it and she's very happy and I feel that that's the best thing she needed in her life, especially after everything she'd been through. So she's on a different journey now and her work's going very well. Um, my case is a different story. We were in California a few months and I ended up getting a hernia and then uh, it just progressively got worse and worse. And then we realized we were leaving California, coming back to Colorado, where we are now, Fort Collins. So once we knew we were coming back to Colorado, we were in kind of the middle of a situation where like I needed to get surgery, but it didn't make sense for me to get the surgery beforehand because I would still be healing by the time we had to go. Because just to put it lightly, our time in California, even though we were invited there, it didn't, I never felt welcome. I never felt welcomed, I never felt at home, I never felt comfortable. Um, it was an awkward situation and I wish I never went out there. Um, so while I was out there, I, I got a hernia. I mean, that could happen at any place. We ended up back in Colorado and I recently had surgery for it. So I've been recovering the past few weeks and it's been pretty gnarly, honestly. I went to the follow-up appointment the other day and I'm having some complications. So it's painful and um, it's taken me out for a while. And other than being physically failed with this problem that's extremely painful, that flares up and down throughout the day, um, it's sometimes it creeps up on you. You could be having a good moment and then out of nowhere you have a stabbing pain and it just takes you out and you have to lay in bed for a few hours. So the hernia itself and recovery has been pretty, pretty gnarly to say the least. Hopefully I'm on the better side of recovery now and I can soon start to get better within the next few weeks. It's, it's still pretty damn painful and it's still hard to do certain things, but we're getting there and we're staying positive and we're staying strong and that's what we have to do. So I can't wait to get back to work. I can't wait to get back to skating. I, I haven't been on a board in about a year now. And that's pretty crazy. I don't even own a board. When we, when we left California, I actually donated my board to Goodwill because I figured, hey, some kid could use it. I'm not gonna be touching it for a long time. So yeah, we're back in Colorado and um, yeah, I'm recovered from surgery. I've been a stay-at-home father the past several months and I'm enjoying that time with my son. It's a very special time in our lives. He just turned five, but we started school next year. So this is our, la this is our last chance to you know really just hang out before he goes to school. So I'm so grateful for this time after everything I went through to have my son in my life and everything I went through just in general. Um, be his father and to be the father he needs. Um, I love him so much and he's so happy here. And he loves his new room, it's set up so cool. Like I'll have to do a video with an apartment tour sometime, but that's another story, that's not what this is about. Yeah, Silas is super happy and he's gonna be starting school next year. There's a cute little school right down the street that's really good, so I look forward to that. But right now, the time that we have together is, oh shit. Right now, the time we have together is so important because, you know, to get, spend every day with him is just 
incredible. Even if I'm in pain, like, you know, I've been toughing it out, I'll go to the park and I'll sit on the bench as long as he can get outside and yeah, just being present in his life. Um, yeah, it's just a general little update there. So anyone who's been following along, thank you for the support and, you know, thank you for, uh, you know, just been caring about us and following this journey. Also, I will note real fast, I do have a whole new collection for Enigmatic out finally. I did a little rebranding and I did a really big jewelry drop recently. So thank you to everybody who's picked up jewelry so far. You know, after seven years, six years, whatever it's been, I can't believe some people still fuck with me and support me. So like, thank you for supporting me and buying the jewelry. It means a lot. And um, just so you guys know, like, yeah, I wasn't gonna bring it back, but talk myself into it and I'm, I'm pretty proud of the new collection so you can go check it out on uh, Enigmatic Co on Etsy if you care but um yeah thanks for supporting me anybody who's down with the jewelry and um I'd like to get back to bringing sweatshirts into the line again in beanies but you know one step at a time we'll get there maybe next fall um anyway thanks for watching I hope everyone's doing well don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh leave a comment let me know what you think but I look forward to getting better and I look forward to showing you guys more of Colorado and getting out there this summer and doing a lot of hiking. I mean, there's a waterfall like 20 minutes west of us. I can't wait to go. I haven't been able to because it requires, you know, climbing up a little bit. I've been hurting. So yeah, there's so much to do, so much to look forward to. The future's bright and um, just gotta stay positive through these hard times. That's all you can do. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you're doing well. Have a great day.